I recently purchased Volvo roof racks for my Volvo XC40 recharged and fished a cargo carrier out of the attic that goes on the roof. I noticed when I was driving around with it that there was decreased efficiency, but I'm not sure exactly how much. In this video, we're going to find out. Okay, so this is how it's going to work. I figured out this is the best way of doing so. I'm going to charge up to 80% now. I'm going to drive a set route. And when I come back to this location, I'm going to end here. So I'm going to do a loop. When I come back to this location, I'm also going to charge back up to 80%. That will tell me without the roof rack, using the charging session receipt, how many kilowatt hours I consumed for that route. After I do that, I'm going to put the roof rack on and the cargo carrier, which is in the back of the car right now. And I'm going to do the exact same route, come back here and charge to 80% and see how many kilowatt hours were dispensed. Okay, we are now at 80%. Ready to hit the road. So the Volvo XC40 Recharge has this trip computer, but it has a trip auto and a trip manual. The trip auto is what's used to display into the center console. Uh, but I've reset the trip manual in order to get a good, accurate reading on the number of miles that we covered. All right, we're at the turnaround point. For those who are familiar with Charlotte, this is uh, West W.T. Harris Boulevard. I came from the Evigo on Tuckasegee south to 485, took 45 inner up here, and now we'll just backtrack back to Evigo. Take the Tuckasegee Road exit, then turn left on Okay, we're back at the Evigo station, and for that first leg, it's important to note that the cargo carrier was actually in the back of the car. So when I do the second leg of that test, there's going to be no difference in weight. The only difference is the drag coefficient associated with the cargo carrier being on top. Also, because I'm doing a route that is covering a 70 mile an hour interstate there's going to be a lot of drag associated with that speed so we should get a really good indication of the difference i'm going to go ahead and charge up to 80 percent see how many kilowatt hours i burned off in that leg we're going to put the cargo carrier on while the car charges up and uh, then i'll be able to do the math see what my efficiency was for the first leg Okay, we went exactly 30 miles. We replenished 12.949 kilowatt hours. That gives us an efficiency rating of 2.316 miles per kilowatt hour. Where you got the cargo carrier on, we're going to go 70 miles an hour with a increased drag coefficient. We'll see what kind of efficiency we get this time. Okay, we're back at the EVGO station. Let's go ahead and fill back up to 80% and see how many kilowatt hours get replenished. That will give us a very accurate reading on the difference between the drag coefficient increase from the cargo carrier versus it not being there.
Okay. You can see 13.6981. That brings us to 2.19 miles per kilowatt hour. I'm going to go ahead and go home, put all this information into a table, and do the close out there. Okay, back at home. Let's go over the summary. The first loop, I did exactly 30 miles, and these other numbers, the trip computer spits out, and like if you're at a stoplight, it's going to decrease your MPH, so that's really not a factor. And also, these numbers I don't really trust, so I'd rather do it the way I did, which is a much more accurate way of making these uh, recordings. The second loop, I added an additional 30 miles, so that is exactly 30 miles in both cases. First time, it was 12.949 kilowatt hours dispensed to get back to 80%. The second time it was 13.698 kilowatt hours dispensed. If you run the numbers on that, it's a increase in inefficiency or a decrease in efficiency of 5.47%. Another way of saying that is my car is rated for 240 miles of EPA range. And with the increased drag, I can expect 226 miles of range. So really not that bad, a 5% decrease. So if you guys are doing summertime road trips or road trips and you wanna have a cargo carrier on top of your EV, yes, you're going to lose efficiency, but it's only about 5%, not too bad. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching.